Vancouver is so expensive. It's not affordable. I'll never be able to buy a home. We hear this a lot and we're going to talk about what it's going to take to make Vancouver housing market crash. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you want to learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. For people who already own a home, they're happy with the Vancouver real estate market that continues going up and up and up. But for those who are struggling to purchase a place, they just want the whole housing market to crash and crash like 50 to 60%. And when that happens, then you'll be able to afford it. For this video, I want to share with you my opinion under what scenarios Vancouver housing market will crash. Now, before I get into that, let's talk about what will not cause the housing market to crash. So there's a lot of talk about stress tests and tightening mortgage rules and how that's going to lower the housing prices. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. With stress tests that was implemented back in 2018, that played a huge impact. We did see prices fall because it took time for people to digest this big change. But now, you no know, prices are back up to 2018 level, if not higher. And then there was the recent change that happened in June 2021. That didn't make any impact at all because it only resulted in a reduced buying power of about 5%. So what I'm trying to say is if you're relying on the government to cause the real estate market to crash, then I really don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Real estate is one of the biggest money makers for both the federal and provincial government. They have all the incentives to keep the market going higher and higher because it affects people's net worth, which leads to more taxes we can afford to pay. There's also talk of inflation. That's going to do it, right? Like inflation is just going to cause the market to crash. People are buying up properties with cheap mortgage rates and then rates are just going to skyrocket and all homeowners will be suffering and be forced to sell. Well, guess what? The government knows this and will do whatever it takes to avoid it. We've experienced something like this back in the 80s when interest rates were like 10 to 15 percent. It was a huge failure by the government and they've learned their mistakes and chances are it's not going to happen again. And we see this happening. You now rates hasn't been in double digits ever since and, and the highest that I've seen is around I guess five to six percent. And, and we've also seen lessons learned from the 2008 financial market crash being implemented during the COVID recession. So, you know, you're seeing this printing money and keeping everything afloat. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, interest rates are bound to go up eventually, but the government will ensure it is well controlled and well communicated. Also, remember, people are being qualified as stress tests of around 5% even though rates are much lower than that. So there is a huge buffer during the qualification stage to ensure rising rates won't affect the housing market much. So what will cause the Vancouver real estate market to crash? Of course, the obvious things would be like huge natural disasters, like a big earthquake, but we're not going to talk about that stuff. We'll be talking about economics and policies. What will truly cause the Vancouver real real estate market to crash will not originate locally or federally. It will be something big that happens internationally that will cause people to panic and the stock market to crash. So one recent example is, is COVID. No one expected it. No one knows what it is. People panic because businesses are affected and it felt like it's the end of the world. Vancouver real estate market came to a complete halt there were some but short-lived no COVID deals and in 2008 financial crisis was the one before that you know, people lost a lot of money and they needed to sell and even at a 
below market price to keep cash on hand. Now, I don't know when the next big thing is going to be, but that's what's going to take for the Vancouver real estate market to crash. You'll notice that Vancouver is very resilient. I mean, like COVID times, the drop in price was minimal and prices are way back up again. I think what I'm trying to say is, if you're depending on the government to act cowardly and intentionally make home prices fall, then I think that's quite naive. Government doesn't have that much incentive to cause that to happen. It may sound nice during a campaign run, but even with NDP and BC right now, even they're treading very carefully to not disrupt the real estate market. They need the property transfer tax to fund programs in the province, and it's a large chunk of their tax revenue. So say a big international event happens and causes the real estate market to fall like 50 to 60 percent. Will you be able to capitalize on it? I think chances are it's very slim. Now remember COVID? That was the most recent and best opportunity to buy. What were you doing? Most likely you're thinking whether or not you'll still be able to keep your job. You're looking at your investments and panicking because you're <laughs> losing so much money so quickly. Basically, the last thing you were thinking of is buying a home. So even if it does fall 50 to 60%, it'll be very difficult to buy at that time because most likely we'll be in a recession and your finances will be greatly impacted. So what can you do? What I would suggest is don't rely on outside factors and governments to help you. Look at your own financial situation. Get professional help. Save up work hard to increase your income. It's really not a secret or anything. It does require hard work and good financial discipline. And if you want to see where you're at with planning for your home purchase, I'm happy to connect with you for a free consultation. And there you go. We just went over what will make Vancouver's housing market crash. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure to click on the notification bell so it won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.